In the last video, we made the time of day change. While this works over a short period of time, what if we wanted the time of day to keep changing for minutes, or even hours? We would need to keep adding lines and lines of code, which becomes impractical very quickly. Fortunately, there is a simple alternative that we can use called looping. A loop is a segment of code that repeats itself over and over and over until a certain condition is met. Some loops can run indefinitely until the game stops. One such loop is called a while true loop. To set this up, let's first make a variable to keep track of the time of day. We'll call it minutes after midnight and start it off with the value of zero. Now we will make our loop. First, we need to type while true do, then hit return. This will automatically put an end on the following line. Now all of the code that we type between the first line, while true do, and this end will repeat forever. The first thing we need to do is set the time of day to the current number stored in minutes after midnight. So we use the function game.lighting colon set minutes after midnight. And instead of putting a number, we just put in the variable minutes after midnight and the function will read the value that's stored in that variable. Then we want to increase the value of set minutes after midnight. So to do this, we simply type minutes after midnight equals minutes after midnight plus one. This will take the current value saved in minutes after midnight, add one to it, then store the result in the same variable. Last, we need to include a wait. We don't have to wait a full second in this case. Let's just tell it to wait 0.1 seconds. Now this part is very important. If you ever make an infinite loop like we just did, you need to make sure that there is a wait included somewhere in the repeating code. If you don't, your game might break. So now if we run our game, we can see that the time of day gradually changes from night to day.